Did you use your pulse at the same time? Shoot his legs. He's come. Shoot his legs. Yeah, I'm coming him. No, he's fucking glitching, dude. He's still immune, man. It's still immune. They all come, dude. They're all come. I just fucking kill them all. Are you still in? On the floor. Sorry. So a lot of you guys have been asking for PvP build and uh, like a Dark Zone build. I personally don't PvP much at all right now. I'm mainly or almost only farming for loot. But I think I will try PvP a bit more. But that will be at a later stage though. But I thought I would show you guys the build I've been running the past days in Dark Zone. When we've been hijacking and having some PvP encounters. So before we go into the build though, I use Gunner for this. And the reasons being, I think a lot of the talents here are super strong. Like 10% armor on kill is really good, especially if you are in Dark Zone and kill NPCs. Sure, it's not that strong in PvP though, but it can be quite nice to have sometimes. Reload speed is nice as well. Armor kit is pretty decent, 30% bonus armor. Foam grenade, actually when you foam grenade people in PvP, they can't do much at all. But yeah, and then you have a rate of fire for every kill. That's pretty nice to increase the burst damage. Standing still, that's more of a PvE talent. But you can definitely use another spec if you want to. But I use uh, Gunner because I feel like it's really good for farming in Dark Zone. And some benefits as well in PvP. But yeah, let's actually check what I'm using though. So, 4-piece True Patriot with 1 Fenris and 1 Overlord. And I'm actually using this with the Eagle Bearer. So I have right now 890k armor. I used to have 1.2. So one of the damage rolls would be to armor. But I did change some pieces yesterday. And all the footage you're probably gonna see. Or if you've seen a, a PvP video before. Was actually with PvE pieces where I had hazard protection on a lot of them. But since there was gear sets yesterday. I could swap a lot of them out to actual red stats. However though this build is far from perfect in terms of roles and i also haven't taken the time to like make sure that everything is the best and how i want it to have for my playstyle and such but i thought i would just show you where the build is at because you guys are screaming so much for the build so yeah let's just uh, check it out so i'm using a named m1a i actually just rolled this one so damage to, to target out of cover perfect lucky shot in a perfect world i would just use a damage talent here such as boomerang maybe i probably not boomerang on this because i don't have that much crit but probably like rifleman or something but to be honest i don't use the rifle that much it's mainly eagle bearer which i did make a video about yesterday so there will be a video about that talking about this gun because this gun synergizes really good with the, the gear set i'm playing because of the damage reduction so before we check all the pieces though, let's actually go through really quick here what uh, True Patriot does. So 2-piece is uh, ammo capacity, don't really care about that. 3-piece is 30% mag size, that's actually pretty nice. Like, usually you have 60 bullets with an eagle, and now I have 80, 70, 79. And this actually was pretty crazy yesterday when I played, because you can definitely tell the difference. I was just shooting and shooting and shooting, and I could kill so many people without having to reload so that's definitely a nice bonus to have even though it doesn't increase your even though it doesn't increase your burst damage you have to reload less and that's really nice in a lot of scenarios especially if you're fighting a lot of people and then we have the four piece which is what this set is all about to be honest every two seconds enemies you shoot receive a stacking debuff of red white and blue so if you look at the character above the, the eagle bear you see a white flag now a blue and a red so when i shoot red there it will get a red flag and then you shoot blue you get a blue flag and you hit white and you got the full flag so that's how it works so the red flag amplifies the enemy's damage taken by eight percent so you will do eight percent multiplicative more damage to the enemy so whatever damage you're doing to him you just increase that by eight percent then we have the white flag which is super strong for pvp because every second you hit him, you will heal 5%. So really, really strong. 
This is supposed to work for your allies as well, but it's currently bugged. But if you're playing solo, that doesn't matter, obviously, but this one is really, really good. Then we have the blue flag that decreases the enemy's damage that they deal by 8%. So all of these talents are extremely good because either you are doing more damage to the enemy or they are doing less damage to you or you are healing for hitting them. So all of these are just extremely good in a PvP scenario. Then we have the full flag. Enemies that die will under the effect of all the three debuffs creates a five meter explosion dealing damage equal to their total health and armor. And that one apparently works on skills as well. I don't know if that's a bug though, but that seems to be pretty broken. But that's uh, how true Patriot works. Then if we look at the backpack talent, which you definitely want to use because it increases all the effect of the red, white, and blue debuff. So instead of amplify your damage by eight, you amplify it by 12 and they deal 12% less damage to you as well. And instead of healing 5%, you heal 8%. So definitely, I recommend you to use the backpack. But that's uh, the true Patriot set though. Let's actually check the gear pieces I have. So if you go instantly to the actual chest piece, I'm using Unbreakable because there's not too much options in terms of uh, chest pieces for PvP, I feel like. And the biggest issue with this patch right now, because time to kill is so fast, is survivability. So, I mean, this build is basically just focused around survivability. So Unbreakable repairs 95% of your armor. In PvP though, let me swap that to PvP stats, it's uh, 50%. But there's actually a way to make that go higher. So True Patriots have a defensive mod slot, usually not that great, right? But you can actually put incoming repairs on your de defensive mod slots, right? So I have two of those. Okay, so I guess I will hit Dark Zone later and I will show you. But basically, incoming repairs will increase the unbreakable buff. So you get around, I think I get around 80 or 85% back or something. That oh, rifle build so they do a lot of damage. So that's pretty good because in terms of uh, other blues, there's nothing good for PvP. So you don't want to have armor on kill or protection from elite. So having in incoming repairs is pretty strong. And I've been thinking about maybe putting in some skill repair and stuff to make uh, your chem launcher actually do some work. But that's something I'm going to try later. For now, this is just what I've been playing with. So I thought I would show it. But anyway, we're shaking the mask. I'm having weapon damage and headshot damage. I got this one yesterday, actually. Because I want to focus on headshot damage with this build. Because I'm not going to have that much crit. I might change my mind with this. Mainly because the Eagle Bearer have so bad bloom. Like, look at this. Like, it used to have so good bloom. But, I mean, this is a lot of bloom. The thing is though, I want to be close and I want to face tank with this build, so I gotta have to play it a bit more, check the the replays and stuff and see how consistent you can be with headshots, because the bloom is just not that great, like it used to be. But that's why I think I'm gonna go headshot damage. Yesterday I had hazard protection though, so having any red stat now, it's pretty good improvement. And you can see the gear mod there is a headshot damage as well. But I might swap that around. I'm not completely sure how I want to do it yet. I haven't really checked that. But yeah, the chest here, weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and uh, headshot damage mod. That's what I have. Just all reds on that. I kind of need a better Fenris, I guess, but it's it's all right. Holster, I got yesterday as well, I think. Yeah, I actually did. 170k armor and 10 headshot damage. The backpack, we have 15 weapon damage. Critical hit damage and incoming repairs. I don't really like having the critical hit damage there because I have headshot damage. So maybe for now I should roll the crit, but yeah, we have it just like this. I, I need a better backpack so I can put uh, headshot damage. Actually, I might roll this one because I don't play tank. And if I would do that, I could roll that. So I probably would roll that to headshot damage later. Then we have the gloves with the weapon damage and critical hit damage as well. Maybe put headshot damage there too. I'm a little bit worried with putting everything into headshot damage. Because the headshot damage value got nerfed quite a bit. Compared to previous patches. And now you get pretty high crit value. So it might actually be worth to go crit instead. 
is you don't want to put everything into headshot damage, especially in PvP. I don't know where it is right now though, but I believe before, I think it's 20% of the headshot damage just gets removed when you go into Dark Zone because of PvP modifier, lowering your headshot damage. So it might not be worth to fully commit to headshot damage. But yeah. Then I'm using the Overlord Fox Prayers uh, knee pads. I did make a video before this, I think, that went through all the best named items for damage builds and how to get them. So you could check that video out if you want to know. But this one have damage to target out of cover, which is multiplicative. So even though I barely use the rifle, it's still the best knee pad for damage output. So yeah, that's my gear pieces. When it comes to, to skills though, I would definitely recommend Pulse when it comes to Dark Zone. If you're playing in a team, at least somebody needs to have Pulse. Especially with this time to kill, having a Pulse so you can see people, it's really, really strong. Then I usually use the Defender Drone because that one adds another 10.5% damage reduction. It's 10%, but you can add, you can actually add more damage reduction with the amount here. So 10.5. I'm not sure how that interaction works though. This eagle gives you 80% as max and this 10.5. If that adds up to each other, 90.5, that's pretty insane. But that's uh, the skills I use though. But if you could add some more skill repair to this and actually get a decent cam launcher, that could definitely be an option. But yeah, if we actually take a look at my stats, I'm not sure if I want to have this low armor though. I just tested it yesterday before I was running 1.2 million as I said. Because you definitely want to be a bit tanky, but maybe... This could be enough. You of course want to have some damage as well. I don't like to spec everything into tank because you need to get that first kill. And if it takes too long, but that's something I'm going to test over time. I just wanted to give you guys a build to go for. Uh, check Eagle. The stats here is not going to be impressive at all. I have no crit for this one. 92 headshot damage. You saw the stat rolls. You know that I miss quite a lot of stuff here. I don't know what you guys want to see. 36% incoming repairs. Which helps with Unbreakable. If a lot of people are using shield, you could use the EMP jammer, which you will see in some of my gameplay. And keep in mind, the Eagle Bear is not the best gun when it comes to, to damage. So if you struggle in 1v1 scenarios, then this might not be the best to use. You might want to use something else than the Eagle, like a MG5, for example, or a Pestilence. Because that will have greater output damage. And you will still have survivability because of the true Patriot. I will either have some gameplay here in this video. Or I actually already uploaded a PvP video. Which you could check in the pinned comment. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you guys in the next one.